What does the ancient free and accepted masons of historic Deadwood Lodge Number no. 7 and Mount Moriah Cemetery have in common? I'm Mike Rodman, past Grand Master of Masons of South Dakota, and this is the Deadwood Historic Preservation Moment. On Wednesday, June 7, 2017, representatives from Historic Deadwood Lodge No. 7 of the Ancient Free and Accepted Masons and the Grand Lodge of South Dakota rededicated Section 10 in Mount Moriah Cemetery. A small group of spectators, including members from surrounding Masonic lodges, were on hand to watch this ceremony. Section 10, also referred to as the Masonic Section of Mount Moriah Cemetery, is a very unique feature in the cemetery. Based on the 1879 Lawrence County map of the cemetery, Mount Moriah was laid out on a true east-west axis. The street names correlate to the history and construction of Solomon's Temple, once located in the city of Jerusalem, Israel. In 1887, the Deadwood Masons purchased 1.5 acres in the center of the cemetery, more specifically lots 1 through 7 and A through E, for the burial of their brethren. After replatting the cemetery in 1895 by land surveyor P.L. Rogers, Section 10 became recognized as the Masonic Section. Within the confines of this section, symbols from several concordant bodies of masonry can be observed including Scottish Rite, York Rite, Order of the Eastern Star, and the Nysia Shriners. In 1914, Deadwood Lodge No. 7 began a beautification project within Section 10 that included the installation of two parallel concrete sidewalks, a low-lying concrete wall enclosing the section, and two short concrete pillars at the western entrance of this section. One of the most recognizable features added to this section was the granite altar and Bible carved from St. Cloud granite. The Masonic Burial Ground Committee, headed by Dr. Felix E. Ashcroft, researched those individuals buried within 25 feet surrounding the monument. On September 16, 1914, the Deadwood Daily Pioneer Times ran a lengthy article about the altar and a list of individuals who appear on the altar base. Upon completion of this beautification project, Section 10 embodied a physical representation of a Masonic Celestial Lodge, complete with a Tyler, George S. Jackson Monument, two pillars, Boaz and Jakin, altar and Bible, and Worshipful Master, Otto F. Purnell Monument. A map of the section, created by an unknown drafter, is on display at the Deadwood Masonic Lodge. I'm Mike Rodman, past Grand Master of Masons of South Dakota, and this has been a Deadwood Historic Preservation Moment. <laughs>